RTE has been criticised by the Taoiseach Micheál Martin for its decision to pull an interview with former Minister Shane Ross about his book on Sinn Féin leader Mary Lou Macdonald. The Taoiseach described it as having a chilling effect on democracy. And he added that greater transparency and explanation was required from RTE over its decision to cancel the interview with the former minister about his book. Well, author and former Minister Shane Ross joins me here now. Um, before we talk to you, Shane, we're going to have a listen to what the Taoiseach had to say today in the Dáil. Again, I don't know the background to the, to, to the entire case other than to say that such a development has a chilling effect on public debate and on democracy. Of that, there is no doubt. When the national broadcaster is sued by any organisation, and it has been, it has been you know, of, 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 of considerable clout and heft, Obviously, the national broadcaster is taking a cautious position here and because of a fear of being sued, will not publish the interview or will not broadcast the interview. That's, not, that's, that's something that de demands greater transparency and explanation. Um, so, so, I mean, what I found intriguing is, well, apparently a political party got access to the interview to listen to it. Uh, prior to it being known. I don't think I was ever afforded that <laughs> opportunity as a leader of the opposition, ever. Uh, I, I stand to be corrected. that someone say, listen, have you listened to that there? And, and, and do you think we have permission to publish it? No, maybe that's, a bit, that's not exactly in terms of, the, I don't think RT were saying we didn't give us permission to, to republic. I, I'm, um, I'm paraphrasing there, which wouldn't be correct, I, I assume, but nonetheless, uh, I'm correcting so far that they got to listen to it, but why, why, why RT decided not to? publishes as a matter Thank you, that needs explanation. Um, that was the Taoiseach speaking in the Dáil earlier today. As I say, Shane Ross is here with me in studio. Uh, did it surprise you that Micheál Martin would intervene in this way, talking about this development of the interview that you did on RT Radio not going to air as having a chilling effect on democracy and public debate? Uh, I think it's most unusual for a Taoiseach to come in on, on an issue like this, but it was a very unusual issue. I, I was in, I've been interviewed by various people for maybe 40 years, and I've never come across quite an such an extraordinary circumstances of an interview, uh, whether it's an RTE or anywhere else. We, the background to this is, is, is very, very... It's not complicated, but it, it went on for a long time. Mm -hmm. RTE having agreed uh, to do an interview with me about Mary Lou MacDonald uh, came forward. Uh, before, before, before the, uh, before the, before the recording was to be made, and insisting first of all that it was recording, which is fine. We thought that was that was absolutely fine. They wanted to record it, and I suppose that was because of the sensitivities which there are with with Mary Lou Macdonald at the moment, and Tisha alluded to that. But they then said that not only should it be legal, that they 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 then said that they wanted to have certain stipulations for the interview, which for certain subjects would not were not to be raised, uh, including the issue of the house. They then, then went on to say that it had to be very, very strongly legal and they'd need it four or five days in advance, uh, which is, again, mm. very unusual. And what the Tishik then uh, referred to was, yes, they, it, was, it, it was said to us quite specifically, Sinn Féin must have a right of reply. Now, that's fine. Of course they must have a right of reply. First of all, the book's not about Sinn Féin. It's about well, what, what form was that right of reply to take? Exactly. Well, the right of reply was to take... But well, what this. were you told? Well, I'll tell you what, 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 what my publishers were told. The right of reply would take the following, and I, I think I can read to you from, from, a, from an email, but they would actually put it to Sinn Féin. Here we are. We're pre-recording the interview with Shane tomorrow, so we'll put whatever he has to say to them once the interview is done. And they went on to say, I'm just saying, if they ask for the context of the question, if they ask for it so they would have access, I might need to supply that too. And it went on. If they follow up and ask for the context, that's after they got the right of reply, I can identify that and let you know what is needed. So, so what, what was the context now? The context means the chapters. It means the context the the, from the, the book. The chapters of the book yeah. rather than the recording of the interview, just yeah. to clarify on that. So because we do have a interview. statement. I just think it's, it's yeah. important to say this, yeah. that RT can confirm that no one was given access to the recorded interview. And Sinn Féin have also said Sinn Féin did not receive a copy of any interview, nor was it sought. That's absolutely correct. That's absolutely correct. They didn't give them the, the interview or the context in the end because they, they, because they said it's not going out. They made a decision before that. They said it's just not going out at all. So they didn't get to that. But they were going to give it to them as an alternative. Sorry, sorry excerpts of the, of the book rather than the pre-recorded interview that you were to do, well, just were going to, to, just were going to clarify to put, that. No, they were going because to Because that, 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 is, that yeah. is different. They were going to put to them what I'd said 
OK, verbally, and then they were going to say, if they asked for the context in which I said it, in other words, if it was a quote from the book, they were going to ask for, they were going to give them that quote from the book and the, and the context in the book as well. So they were going to have access to everything. Right. There's okay. no doubt about that whatsoever. OK, well, they have, and it's just important to clarify that, that RTE have confirmed that no one was given access to uh, the recorded interview. Um, they also go on to say, just to give you the, the statement from RTE on this, broadcasters have editorial independence to decide what they cover and broadcast. That's the principle uh, the BAI acknowledge. When many competing stories and items every day, it's not unusual for a pre-recorded interview not to be broadcast. And in this instance, the decision not to broadcast was an editorial decision and not influenced by any legal issues there. Would you would you accept that? No. All the problem initially was about legaling it. Okay. It was it was all about legaling. They had to have it legal. They have to have it early because they said they have to have it legal. Okay. They didn't mention editorial independence at any stage whatsoever. There was no question of that being diff being, being being a difficulty when it came to the end. But they've said here in their statement yeah. it was an editorial decision in that was made not to air that interview. That's what they have correct. said on that. But with the background to this, with the extraordinary difficulty in getting this to air, with the restrictions about what to talk mm. about. Isn't it amazing that all the background, and they're reporting, reporting it to Sinn Féin, at the very end, having done, gone through all that, they pull, the, they pull the interview. Do you believe the fact that um, Mary Lou MacDonald is suing RT for libel factored into that decision to drop the interview? I can see no other explanation for this. It's the most extraordinary circumstances of, of censorship I've come across, and I don't believe by the way, the Sinn Féin is guilty in this particular ca case. I don't. Sure. I believe Sinn Féin's statement. Well, they, they have said that. They yeah, have they issued did. a statement. It's a matter for RTE, what they choose to broadcast or not. It's highly unusual. Uh, they go on to say for the Fianna Fáil leader, and we will be getting reaction from Sinn Féin um, mm. on this programme to that, to use um, the whole time in this way. And we invited Sinn Féin actually to come on the programme in this segment yeah. with you, Shane yeah. Ross, to discuss it. Yeah. Um, Can I just so say that we will get more reaction to that. Just, I, know, yeah. I just want to ask you, because we make editorial decisions on this show every day, and sometimes yeah. it means that items are pulled, and it's a programme's editorial right to do so. Do you think the intervention, you have your platform in the Sunday Independent yeah. and you could speak out and you did yeah. so, yeah. and you know the paper made that editorial yeah. uh, decision to publish that. Do you think the intervention of the Taoiseach in this instance was wise? I think it was very helpful indeed, because I think, I think RT have to answer questions about how this decision was made, why it was made, the circumstances behind it, who made it, and whether it was anything to do with the fact that Sinn Féin have got some, some sort of legal action against them at the moment. Because Sinn, Sinn Féin didn't interfere in this particular process. RT made this decision mm. themselves. It wasn't made by the programme people like yourself. It was made. It was definitely made higher up, higher up than that. And I think it's because they were, they were fearful. They were, they were, they were afraid. They were afraid of, of something, and they were fearful probably of, of this prejudicing them in, in a way. That it looks as if they're biased against Sinn Féin. Sinn Féin didn't move on this. Let's be clear about this. They're not the culprits at all.